Hi Capricorn, welcome back. This is going to be your reading for the 20th to the 31st of August. It's going to be a love reading, but if it goes general, so be it. I'm trying to um, give attention, like full attention to all the signs like I do for Taurus. So I'll try my best. Do I want to use this deck? <sighs> Let's just try. Mm. You know what? I'm going to use the other one. It's just easier on my, on my hands. Let's see. Spirit, do you want to use this deck? Two of Cups, Five of Cups. Okay, that's not so great. Let's see the Muse Tarot. It's getting a little bit of a vibe from Muse. Spirit, do you want to use this deck? It's either ace, sevens, or tens, or yes, or like a sun card or something, or a multiple. Spirit guides, you want to use this deck for Capricorn? Muse of Voices Tower. Nine. Nope. Just fast forward. Take me a second. I just don't feel like pressing record again. <clears throat> Shadowscapes. Spirit guides, you want to use Shadowscapes? Do you want to use this deck? For Capricorn? Yep. The sun. Temperance. Okay. You got it. Okay. Spirit guides, what do we have for Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for August 20th to the 31st in love. And then we'll pull a whole bunch of other cards. What do we have for Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to know? Thank you. Page of Wands. This is a very baby energy to start off with for the 20th to the 31st. This is a... The page here is playing a violin. Music. It's a gift, a message. Are you sending a message through song? Is that what's happening to somebody? Wheel of Fortune. Some change. Hmm. This is like good fortune, abundance. Something good has happened to you. Some good news has come in or there's some big change in your life. Now, in love, it could be if you're single, you're not going to be for long. If you are in a relationship, it could indicate a big change there. Or someone coming back into your life. But let's just see. We've got three of wands. So this is waiting. There could be distance. Having set something in motion and then waiting to see what happens, like a domino effect. You know, you tip one over and then all of them things. Just waiting for news. Waiting for, a, 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 what do you call it? To return on some kind of investment you've made into someone. Death is an ending and a rebirth, a new life. And four of wands is showing stability and happiness here. The happy home. Lovely. Four of cups is showing somebody who is breaking the spell of being in the doldrums, okay? Of being overthinking something, being distracted. I like this card because the Four of Cups represents that energy, but we get this person dipping their fingers in the water and breaking the spell of like that narcissist energy of looking at your own reflection the whole time and being stuck in that, you know, because that person got stuck and then they eventually turned into a plant or something. So here we have this person breaking the spell, coming out of it. Could have even been like bad vibes or something that made you get stuck. What else do we have? What else do we have? This is for Capricorn, please, spirit guides. Hold on. Can we get... A love message for Capricorn for the 20th to the 31st. So this is someone from your past. Nostalgia, happy childhood memories. Wanting to speak up, reach out, communicate, tell your truth to them. 
you think they are the truth. They, you have warm and fuzzy feelings for this person. Or there's some kind of truth about something surrounding your childhood. You could speak to inner child issues too, but here we see this little girl having a tea party. And it's very, it's very sweet. It's got this Alice in Wonderland type of vibe, but not quite. It's like, no, it's like a little girl with it, having a tea party with her toys. It's like sweet memories of innocence and nostalgia. Ace of Swords is the truth and victory and clarity, seeing things clearly, having focus. Five of Swords here. Now, what is going on with this? Five of, five of Swords is some kind of manipulation, scandal, shit talking, argument, conflict. Lies, deception, healing from this, temperance, some kind of argument, fight, some toxic situation, winning to get ahead, something bad. Temperance is showing healing from this, divine timing at work, waiting, waiting. What's this Five of Swords? What happened with the Five of Swords, Spirit Guides? What happened with the Five of Swords? Ten of Pentacles regarding money and finances. Two of Swords, there was indecision. Something that was said, that was said or done, taken action, contracts, I don't know, some kind of deal, something, some communication about money, some kind of lie, deception. And then finding out the truth here, that somebody's innocent. With this, here there's two truths, the two of swords, not knowing which way it is. And the knight of swords, somebody who is shit talking and, and, and going in for the kill and trying to cause drama for this like independent person. Nine of pentacles is the bachelorette or the bachelor trying to block their happiness. Here we go again. Somebody was talking a whole bunch of smack and lying and spreading rumors about somebody, especially regarding finances. Saying something really bad or gross or terrible. Two of Cups. Union. Partnership. The star. The wish. The dream. I feel like the reason they did this was to try to block this union. I keep getting that energy. The star can be an Aquarius. The star is... Two of Wands wanting more. Three of Pentacles. There could be distance here. You might have a home already somewhere and you want, this is like comes up when you want to travel or you are interested in somebody else. This is a really, if that is what it is, let's clarify. What's the two of wands, spirit guides? Is that another person? Can we clarify the two of wands? Can we clarify the two of wands? Because both of these can, it can speak to wanting more. And wanting to build with a person and blend families. Or it can speak to... Because this person is holding this person up. Or it could speak to distance and being in a relationship and wanting... Curious. Being curious about somebody else and then third party situations. So let's clarify this. Is this is this wanting more or is it third party? Is this wanting more or is it third party? Hermit. Wanting more. Ace of Wands. Lovers. Page of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Nope. This is not third party. This is wanting more. There's somebody here. The hermit has a star inside their lamp. This is the star. A wish that they have for someone. This is clarifying this. They're in love with this person. They've been waiting. They have passion for this person. They're inspired by this person. There's love for this person. They want to send a message here with the page of pentacles. There could be a child involved. Somebody could have children. The Page of Pentacles is showing like some kind of some kind of gift or message. And then the Ace of Cups is the love, self-love and the offer of love. And on the bottom we have the Page of Cups. 
sending this message. And I always say that this looks like a, a, a seer here. Look like they're looking into a cup that you can see visions. Um, the page of cups here is showing a, a message that's sincere, wanting to reach out and offer love. And what is this all about? The Ten of Cups, ha emotional fulfillment, the happily ever after. Again, we have this like vigilance and guarding with the Nine of Wands, protection energy, Queen of Cups, Eight of Pentacles working things out. Here's the drama. Okay, let's see. Let's pull some love cards. Spirit guys, can we clarify this message with the Romance Angels? What love messages are there for Capricorn for the 20th to the 31st? What love messages are there for Capricorn for the 20th to the 31st? What love messages are there for Capricorn for the 20th to the 31st? Thank you. True love. This is the love of a lifetime, the romance of a lifetime, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Make the effort. Finances are a factor. See, there's something about money that somebody was shit-talking. Optimistic about your love life, chemistry, and so on and so on. Let's move to the next deck. This is Whispers of Love. Spirit Guides. Can we get a message for Capricorn? A love message for Capricorn. <clears throat> what message is there? Thank you. Embrace your emotions. Don't push down your feelings or judge your emotions. This is where you're like <sighs> acting, you know, pushing it down and, and, and disassociating, putting it on the shelf. Physical touch is important. For some of us, nothing is more important than a tender touch. This might include a pat on the back or giving a hug to someone who needs it. So this is somebody who... hasn't been. They've, they've been a hermit. That's nice. Forgiveness. Nothing can be gained by holding on to past disappointments. Let's get a Journey of Love card. These cards are a little bit deeper. This is by Elena Fairchild. Final love message for Capricorn. Spirit guides, can we get a message for Capricorn? Final love message for Capricorn. What do they need to know? What does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to know? Just thank you. Burning hero and the light field. On the bottom, within nothing, there is everything. It's a lot. I'm sorry. It's just it's just too much. It takes so long. These cards are so long. Spirit guys, can we get one card? I could get drained. Can we get one card, please, Spirit? What does Capricorn need to know? Thank you. Woman of light. Yin yang lover. This oracle brings you guidance that there that you are to be witness to the presence of an awakened being either within your own self as part of your spiritual destiny or in the form of a beloved other. An awakened one is in your midst or soon will be. Receive the blessing that emanates from such a being. For to behold one is this gracious spiritual gift that will lift you up to the next step of your path. If you are having trouble discerning the true presence of an awakened teacher in your midst or even in your own being, remember that nothing is asked from you by such awakened ones but loving devotion so that you they may serve the awakening of all living beings. It requires much karmic grace to be granted immediate access to an awakened being, even more to become such a living light. Take the light. The poem says, I asked God for a deepening of my love without realizing that the deeper I was willing to go, the more it involved letting go of any part of myself that wanted to love and still be safe. In surrender to the possible lay the greatest potential for love at levels before unknown, 
like a cistern that holds the nectar of life and gives its precious liquid only to be filled again with nature's flow. Such knowingness is a gift, for if you can embrace the blessing, you can live without question, relaxing and replenishing with each breath, with each kiss, always whole. And then yin yang lover number eight. The oracle has a message for you. No matter whether you seem to be heading closer to your goal or further away, you are making real spiritual progress. And what you want is the same thing that is wanting you. What you are seeking is seeking you. It's only a matter of time before you get it. The poem says, The moment when to fill my heart again is measured not in time or sweet remorse, nor tears that wash away unbridled pain or morning's light which sings its soft retort. Such love has slept through storm and winters long. No call could break the stillness's embrace or hasten change before the season song unfurls its melody and words so chaste. Empowered thus, I found myself compelled to cast aside emotions dormant still. My feelings spoke from depths, the answer welled, no need or past the emptiness to fill. At one, our touch has opened hearts anew, of patience born, there waits a love so true. True love. All right. What do I want to end this with? I want to give you guys a gateway oracle card. Spirit guides, can we get a gateway oracle card for Capricorn, please, for the 20th to the 31st? Thank you. Hearing messages from spirit. I'm a clear channel for messages from spirit. Renewing your life. Radiant vitality is filling my life. This is just saying like when you're you're getting downloads, your ancestors, spirit guides, so on, they all want to communicate or you already have been communicating with them and you're hearing the messages. And for you to have that grow stronger, it's saying you have to make space. Spirit likes a clean, you know, spacious environment. They don't like clutter. I swear to God, like you would think that spirit wouldn't care. Oh, they care. That there's a reason why Hindus and Greeks and all that, they worship so beautifully. That's what spirit likes. They like a clean environment. They like flowers. They like incense. They like candles. They like offerings. They like beautiful things. So um, in that same way, clearing the clutter, when you make room, when you make space, it also helps with your mind uh, set and when that clears away the clutter in your head in your emotions in your energy it gives you a clearer way for channeling spirit is what it's saying being in the flow all right let's pull this little witch deck just quick so guys is there a message here for capricorn for thank you what does this say rejuvenation rejuvenate your mind body and spirit with a fresh and renewed approach to life nice on the bottom relaxation stop your world from spinning by partaking in well-deserved moments of relaxation rejuvenate and relax somebody needs to take a break all right let's get a um, an african goddess rising card by abiola abrams spirit guides can we get a card for capricorn Thank you. Jumbi masks and Oya storms. Oof. Hmm. On the bottom, we've got Queen of Sheba. But I'm going to read Jumbi masks and Oya storms. These are quick. 18. So Jumbi is the shadow of masks, Caribbean, temple shadows, element is air. Jumbies are the scary, shadowy, otherworldly spirits and monsters of the Caribbean. The guidance. Where is the lie? Get quiet to get clear. Put your hand on your heart. Now, are you confused or are you afraid? Your outer world is a reflection of your inner world. Embodiment. Show your true face. Wearing a mask blocks your vulnerability and blessings. If you are wearing a mask, dare to reveal yourself. You are lying to others and to yourself. Wearing a mask is exhausting. Be you. If someone else is wearing a mask with you, you deserve clarity. Your relationship and connection is built on lies. Their mask is a projection of your own. Goddess declaration, I am willing to remove the mask. And then 13. Oya, goddess of storms, Yoruba slash Nigeria, temple warriors, element water. Wielding her powerful sword of truth, Oya is the Yoruba goddess of storms, wind and lightning. Storms bring rapid shift and uncontrollable change and at times chaos. 
Oya's guidance, the winds of change are in motion. Into every life a little rain must fall. Personal storms clear away the old. Sometimes change moves slowly. At other times, change is swift. I'm so exhausted. Holy embodiment. What would you like to change? If you're not actively changing it, you are choosing it. To make shift happen, focus on what you want. Stop giving energy to what is not working. The biggest thing holding you back is you. If you want people in life to treat you better, you go first. If you attract betrayals, stress, and strife, the common denominator is you. Beating yourself up is self-harm. Feel your feelings, honor your journey, tell yourself the truth, and practice self-compassion. Goddess declaration, I make shift happen. It's exhausting. Like, this is exhausting energy here. I just got, like, completely slow mode. I'm going to do something different. I feel like using Lenormand. I'm like kind of sick of hearing myself read things. Okay, let's see what we have. Spirit guides, are any messages? Any final messages for Capricorn for the 20th to the 31st of August? Almost. Any final messages for Capricorn for the 20th to the 31st of August? Thank you. Prosperity, fish. On the bottom we have, okay, so it says, if a fish far away will ruin your day, a fish nearby means sunny skies. Okay. And then on the bottom we have ring. Ooh, the ring. If at your command, then a marriage is soon at hand. But if not at your side, beware your love could soon subside. And there's a fox in the hen house here. The fox is always in flight. If you want to find a friend, you must avoid betrayal. Avoid the game of pretend. Hmm. This looks like there's abundance coming in with the fish. It's good luck. And here we have the ring. It's showing commitment. Marriage. Let's pull another one. Spirit guys, can we clarify this for Capricorn? Can we clarify this for Capricorn, please? Thank you so much. And I think we'll end it here. Cheerfulness, nice. And house, lovely. And fortune, oh, beautiful. Thank you, spirit guides. It's saying it's a celebration. This is the happy home. This is the four of wands that you got over here, this rebirth. Even though your energy is a little tired right now, okay? Like I could feel that exhausted energy. You have such good things coming in. This is true love with this person. It's saying, don't pretend, don't wear a mask. Get your energy up and it's saying, communicate. Let them know. Don't push down your feelings. Fortune, hope, constancy. This person is somebody who's very solid, consistent, strong. Misfortune is pleasure seekers conversation the misfortune the bad vibes is coming from fuck boys <laughs> i'm sorry for swearing or people who are pleasure seekers here it's showing these like either bad friends both of these speak to gossip bad people around jealousy shit talking because that's where you get the misfortune from other people talking too much they have nothing no skin in the game they're just here to have fun and use and there is you know bad intentions with this to burn down anything that you're trying to build yep that's what it looks like all right capricorn did i give you a crystal i did not let me do that let me pull a crystal can we get a crystal please by the way i that just gave me so much energy. The Lenormand and Kipper decks. Is it Kipper or Lenormand? I don't remember. I'm going to have to look it up again. All my decks are all piled up. Spirit guides, can we finish this reading off with a crystal, crystal oracle message for Capricorn for the 20th to the 31st? What do they need to know? Thank you. Ooh, look at this. Pyrite. Let the money flow in. You have great abundance, even with a fish. You have great success. You have a lot to celebrate. 
uh, you have love, you have abundance, success, happy home. You have everything to celebrate. And you have in spirituality with a woman of light. It's fantastic energy. Fantastic energy. On the bottom, adventure and create your own luck. I think you do. That is it, Capricorn. Wonderful, beautiful reading. It looks like 20th to the 31st. You get it all. It's fantastic. Have a great day. I'll be back with your weekly love readings. They are going to be like 10 to 15 minutes. I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.